Summer of love is never gonna last, son. What? Go back to the 60s, right? Everyone's rebelling, but they're rebelling against the system, not each other. 1969, everyone's stoned and naked, free love. Eventually, they'll get bored of hugging and rolling about in the fucking mud. We ain't world champions no more. So people start drinking special brew and kicking shit out of each other on the terraces. 1980s come along, music's still shit. Now you've got good quality coke coming over from Miami for the first time. Everyone gets on that. Of course, you can't sniff all night without the booze. It makes things even worse. The streets get so violent, Thatcher has to step in person to put a stop to it. No more theory. What? Margaret Thatcher secretly manufactured and distributed ecstasy to the masses. How else is she going to stop the fucking hooligans? So now everyone's hugging and loving the night away again. 1988, second summer of love. But it was never going to last. Because people get greedy. Make the pills we go. People think, fuck it. Throw some coke back into the mix, sling a few beers down with Gregory. Go and flash cunt out some poor soul because I'm so fucking angry. And why am I so fucking angry? Because I can't get that loving feeling no more because the greedy bastard dealers won't give me the pills to get the job done. Times change, music changes, drugs change. Summer 88. You ain't never going to get that again, mate. <laughs> That's quite a history lesson, Craig. <laughs>